Brian Lehrer, WNYC. And here's a dilemma for New York, a potential new source of affordable fuel that's greener than oil versus potential contamination of our drinking water. The state government in Albany is now proposing rules to enable natural gas drilling near some New York City reservoirs. The question, are the precautions to protect that are built into the rules enough to actually protect the water supply? Reporter Abram Lustgarden has been following the story for the investigative news organization ProPublica and is back with us now to update it. Hi, Abram. Hi, Brian. Where exactly is this natural gas? Uh, The Marcellus Shale underlies most of uh, Appalachian states. It runs from West Virginia and Ohio up through uh, central Pennsylvania and the southern tier of New York State. How close is it actually to the reservoirs? Uh, it underlies the reservoirs. So if uh, I don't think that this will happen, but if you wanted to drill straight through those reservoirs and into the gas, you could do that. You came on uh, a few months ago when the state was still deliberating the issue. Now they've come out with rules. What are the rules? The rules, uh, I'm still working my way through an 800-page document, so it will take some time. 800 pages of rules. It's it's a a lengthy set of suggested rules that are actually a supplement to a set of rules that were issued in, in 1992. Uh, in general, it's a, it's a phenomenal liter, uh, literature review of all of the issues that seem to have cropped up uh, around natural gas drilling across the country and even around the world. And it, and it does a very good job of acknowledging, uh, if not directly addressing, most of those issues. And I found it fairly thorough. Uh, it also proposes some new uh, rules and regulations that would, if if they're finalized, make New York one of the most stringent places in the country to drill. And it doesn't mean necessarily that it solves all of the all of the problems that have been raised, but it definitely puts New York uh, in the in the top tier as far as regulatory oversight. So, who's satisfied and who's not with these rules? Well, it's it's difficult to know who's satisfied yet. I uh, the industry says that uh, the rules are tough, but they'll work with them. Uh, my impression is that they are they are somewhat satisfied, but would have rather seen nothing at all. Uh, it is clear that New York City will not be particularly satisfied. Uh, we haven't heard too much from Mayor Bloomberg yet or from the city, uh, though several months ago they undertook an independent uh, contractor to do uh, an assessment of the risk to their watershed. And that, uh, that contractor came out with a, with a preliminary statement in a city meeting about a week, a week and a half ago that said that concerns about the watershed are founded and these are real issues and uh, they will come out with a final report uh, at the uh, at the end of the year that, that will outline that. But, but essentially it says that the chemicals can travel uh, into the water potentially that runoff is an issue and, and the other impacts are substantial. Mayor Bloomberg did make a comment on this while the report was still being formulated. Here's what he said a few months ago. Look, I think we need energy. There's no question about that. You can drill in a responsible way. Our great concern would be when you're drilling so close to the water supply, the watershed for this city. So this report came out last week. No reaction from the mayor yet? Well, the mayor uh, made a statement last week saying uh, that if there is cause for concern, he would he would be concerned, essentially, which he hasn't said anything very substantial yet on, on this subject that I've heard. Has Bill Thompson said anything? One of the reasons we're talking about this today is that one of our listeners nominated this as an issue to cover in our 30 Issues in 30 Days election series. Is Thompson taking a different position? Do you know? I, I can't really say. As far as I have heard, I have not heard him be outspoken on this. Uh, from the city in general, with the exception of a couple members of, of council, uh, the city's taken a very cautious approach, kind of declining to, to uh, run up against the state on this issue until this uh, independent assessment uh, comes out at the end of the year. I'll tell you one person who isn't happy. Alice in Park Slope. Alice, you're on WNYC. Hello. Thanks. Yeah. Um, first thing I want to say is the D.C. ruling doesn't really take into account a lot of issues. It doesn't take into account – it's saying that they don't want to have drilling within a 1,000 feet of our water, but that's not close enough. That's not far enough away. I mean, you need it, like, miles because I think water travels underground really far. It doesn't take into account that there really aren't enough monitors to monitor the problems. It doesn't take into account that ground a mile underneath, which is where they're – fracking to get the gas from shifts. And so even if they would put concrete shafts, which they don't really do, even though they're supposed to, all the way down, that as the earth shifts over time, you can say 10 years, the concrete's going to crack and whatever's 
um, pollutions, whatever chemicals are in there may leak into the watershed. Um, also, I'd like to say that in Texas, where they've been drilling a lot, they've had some earthquakes around Fort Worth, quite a few that have been caused by the drilling, and that's documented. There's enough earth, the air pollution around Fort Worth, Dallas, is is about the same caused by air by cars as what's caused by the drilling. And Let me, well, I'm going to stop you there because our time is short, but. Alice has put a number of claims on the table. Did you look into the Texas situation? I, I have. Uh, and, and just to back up for, for a moment, she's hit on, on the key criticisms of the report. For the good things it does for the state, it does not uh, explicitly prohibit drilling in the New York City watershed, which is what a lot of New York City residents wanted. Uh, it says that there will be some limitations and buffer zones around the reservoirs and won't allow activity within 1,000 feet of infrastructure, which includes our water tunnels, uh, without an additional uh, uh, state environmental review. Uh, that's where you're going to get get pushback, and she's absolutely correct that the key issue going forward will be enforcement and looking at staffing levels and whether the state has the budget to, to go out and and do the the checkup on, on the drillers that they say they will do. Uh, air quality uh, is an issue in the Barnett Shale and, and elsewhere around the country where uh, where drilling is taking place. Uh, there's a number of studies that, that show that uh, there's high levels of ozone contaminants that come from the drilling processes from anything from the leaking of natural gas out of tanks to the running of the diesel rigs and the trucks and, and so forth. Uh, there's a lot being said about that now, and that's definitely an issue that the DEC will be looking at in New York. Earthquakes in Texas? Uh, there is a history of underground injection uh, causing or, or being connected with, uh, with seismic activity. Uh, there were a series of, of earthquakes near Dallas uh, several months ago that were determined to have been connected in some way to, to uh, underground injection disposal wells. Now, the gas industry says that the hydraulic fracturing operations are, are different from, from underground injection for disposal. It's not entirely clear to me how different they are. Uh, the New York State Environmental Assessment does address seismic activity uh, in, in some level of detail. I think that it's a risk that, that will be discussed a lot more in the coming weeks. The DEC says that, that they're not especially concerned. 